Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Another episode of the Take Preacher Podcast. Uncut, baby. So, look, last week I talked about this, right? I talked about the four pillars, right? And you guys gave me so much respond and feedback of my last podcast. I want to talk a little more about that, and I want to add one, right? So, last week I talked about the four pillars, right? Keeping it real, right? Being real. Talking about facts, uh, I talked about opinion and I talked about experience. I want to add another pillar uh, to that equation and that's called accountability. Now, a lot of y'all guys that didn't listen to the la- last week's podcast, I would encourage you to go back and listen to that podcast because these uncut series is very important to me. So last week I talked about, you know, four pillars. And I believe that these four pillars is very important. And I think when you look and listen to the four pillars, keeping it real, right? Talking about the facts, you know, talking about opinion and talking about experience. And I want to add accountability to it. That's important, right? Very important. But you know what? I want to talk more about that. Like, so, so check this out. Let's do a recap. Last week, I talked about keeping it real, but how do you know a person is real even though they say they are real real right not everybody that say they real is real that's why i always talk about uh you know making sure that you know the person's history right history is important because a person can always say they real but are they real listen man i hear people say it all the time whether that is on the internet youtube and everything else in between they say, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. And then when you watch them or you do some research on them, they fake and phony. So when a person say they real, do you take their word for it? I don't know. Like I, a, a lot of people take people's words for it. I, I, listen, I don't take people's word for it. I always like to do research in history. Now, see me, I am not the golden child. I've made plenty of mistakes. I've made so many mistakes, man. I ain't even going to lie to you. I've made a lot of mistakes. But see, the difference in me is that I own up to my mistakes. Like, I own up to my mistakes. Like, yes, I keep it real no matter what. But the mistakes that I've made in the past, I've owned up those mistakes. I talked about those mistakes. And so when you when you talk about and you willing to own up to the mistakes that you've made, That's a learning experience, and you know that the person keeps it real. Like, you think about this. I have a series on my YouTube channel that I criticize myself. I do reaction videos on me. And the reason why I do that is because I want people to know that I am not the golden child. I'm not the perfect person. I am not the, uh, you know, but here's the thing. I've held myself accountable for all the mistakes that I've made in the past, so, you know, when I talk about giving advice to people and stuff like that, I think about my own experience. So when you talk about keeping it real, are you truthful to yourself? Listen, man, one thing about keeping it real, keeping it real is the individual. It's me looking at myself in the mirror and say, hey, am I really keeping it real? Am I the truth teller? That's the key. Now, listen, man. It's a it's a difference between being truthful and giving all your information out. Think about this, right? Listen, we I don't encourage uh this giving out all your information because some things are sacred. Right? This say for instance, I'm on the internet. Why would I give out my street address? I, mean, I could keep it real, but I don't have to give out my street address, right? I could talk about being transparent, but I I don't want to tell you guys what I ate for dinner. You know, some things are not for the Internet. And I think a lot of people get that all twisted and, and, and mistaken because a lot of people say, well, I'm transparent to my people, transparent to my audience. Yes, you could be transparent to your audience, but you don't have to disclose personal information, Right. Personal information is totally different. You could keep it real, but I ain't got to tell you what I ate for dinner. 
I ain't got to give you my street address. I don't have to give you my bank account information. I can still keep it real without giving you that information. So when we talk about keeping it real, we keep it real based off of the products and services. This say my YouTube channel is a tech channel, right? When I say I'm transparent, I'm transparent about that. I'm transparent about the tech stuff that I do, right? I'm ultra transparent about that. Uh, but I don't have to give you my street address. I don't have to tell you, uh, you know, everything that I do, the, my license plate on my car, those things, right? So when we talk about keeping it real, you can keep it real to your audience about the products and services that you talk about, you know, in your niche. And so that's the, the key point. And listen, what I try to stress to people is that people can recognize fake and phony from a, a, a long way. Like you think about it, right? A lot of people can, can know you fake just by looking at your history. You know what I'm saying? So keeping it real is very important. And when I talk about facts, listen, I'm piggybacking off of last week is because a lot of people really enjoyed the, the podcast last, last week. And they, a lot of people wanted me to go a little deeper. And listen, I want to go deeper in this podcast. Let's talk about facts, right? Facts can be, cannot be disputed because facts are supposed to be backed up with documentation. Listen, I can tell you everything in the world and say that's facts. But if I don't have no documentation to back it up, it's not facts, right? It's just hearsay. You know, I, I mean, it's hearsay at that point. So when we talk about facts, facts can be backed up with documentation. So it's no disputing facts. The only way you dispute facts, if you lie about the facts, but facts can be, cannot be disputed because it's backed up with documentation. So I, I want y'all guys to know that, right? And we'll talk about opinion. Listen, 90% of most of the YouTube channels that give product reviews and stuff like that, they talk about the two pillars, experience and opinion. Opinion can be disputed because my opinion is different from your opinion, but my opinion can be swayed based off my bias. This say for me, for me, I talk about this. I'm an LG fan. How many times I got to say it? Everybody that knows me, everybody that follows me, they know that. They know that All Easy is a LG fan no matter what. You know this. You know that I'm an LG fan from, from thick to thin. And I would say, in my opinion, LG devices is the best I've ever had. That's my opinion. But you may have Samsung people say, hey, hey, but the Samsung Galaxy devices is better than LG devices and people get upset say how could you say that a LG device is, is the best when you got a plethora of other devices out there that's way better than an LG device that may be true but in my opinion see there you go in my opinion it's the best for me now that brings up to experience think about this my experience with these devices is great. My experience with these devices is absolutely great. It, it does everything that I want it to do. And my experience with cameras, display, you know, uh, performance and everything else is great. Now, listen, my experience cannot be debated because that's my experience having a product, using a product. So my experience cannot be debated. My opinion can be debated, but not my experience because my experience is what it is. And so I know a lot of people get upset about other people experience. You hear people when they watch YouTube videos and when they beloved device get dogged out, what do they do? They go on the airways and blast out the YouTube and say what they did, the, the normal stuff that they say, he's getting paid off. He's super biased. He's wrong. You got, you got a list of things that most people would say towards people 
that gives a review about their beloved device, but call it out for some of the shortcomings. But let's talk about this last pillar. Accountability. Accountability is something that people don't want to do. People don't want to be held accountable. People believe that holding somebody accountable is a bad thing. If you think about this, if you do a crime, the law will hold you accountable. Think about this. If you in a relationship, if you married, you took a sacred oath and you violated that oath, whether or not you cheated or whether or not you did something else in between, you will be held accountable for that. So I know I talked last week, I talked about the four pillars, but I want to add a number five and that's accountability. Listen, man. And I want to go a little deeper on accountability. It's because what happens on the internet, right? What happens when you turn on the TV? What do you see? You see people upset that the world is coming to an end. Inflation is high. Groceries cost too much. Uh, the government not doing nothing for us. This is happening. That's happening. Oh, my God, the sky is falling. Let me tell you something. As an adult, Male or female, you have to take care of your own family. You shouldn't have to rely on nobody to take care of you and your family. It's up to you as an individual, as an adult, whether or not it's male or female, to take care of your family. It don't take no government to, to tell me how to take care of my family. And it doesn't take no government for me to wait for the government to give me something because I'm people, people believe that you're entitled to something. I believe that I'm not entitled to nothing. It's my responsibility as an adult, as a man of his household, as a husband, uh, you know, I only have one daughter, but as a individual to take care of my family, Nobody outside of my bubble have anything to do with me. It's my responsibility. And if I don't do that, I, I cannot hold the government responsible. I cannot hold the banks responsible. I cannot hold nobody responsible. I, as the man of the house, I, as a husband, I, as a father, have to hold myself accountable for the actions that I take. So if I can't take care of my family, if I can't do this and do that, that I have to look myself in the mirror. I got to hold myself accountable, thinking that I made bad choices. You know, I've done things that I'm not supposed to do. Right. And listen, man. It's a it's a different scenario between working hard and not working hard. A lot of people make this thing. I work hard. I work hard. But do you really work hard? To me, I say this all the time. I'm the first person that gets up in the morning and I'm the last person to go to bed at night. Because in my mind, I believe that I want to make sure that my family is taken care of before I go to bed at night. And I want to wake up in the morning and double make sure that my family is taken care of. That means that I'm working around the clock 24 hours, seven days a week as a man of my household to make sure that my family is straight. And so when you look at it in that aspect, you got to hold yourself accountable for the actions that you take. Listen, man, I'm, I'm a tech reviewer. You know, I love tech. I love technology. I, I, listen, I talked about this on um, my, my Wednesday stream that I absolutely love tech, Right. I, I, listen, it's a it's a hobby and a passion for me. But not only that it's a hobby and a passion, but it does bring in income. So even though it's a hobby and a passion, but it brings in a a, a, a certain amount of income to help me in situations, right? Listen, I look at the world like this 
And I and I think people look at the world different. And when I look at the world, I look at when I see stuff going on in politics, I see stuff that's going on here. When I go to the grocery store, I see prices high. When when I hear, you know, stores are, uh, you know, uh, businesses is closing down and I and I see people getting laid off. Um, you know, you hear that the economy is going. Some people say the economy is good. Some people say it's going down to the dog crap. But all of that, I, I'm i not going to give up on, on anything because, you know, the world is going to crap. I still got to take care of my family, but I educate myself on what's going on in the world. See, one thing that you got to do, right? I always say this. You have to educate yourself on what's going on in current events to prepare yourself to make sure that you don't fall in that category let me say that again you as a head of a household whether or not it's going to be a female or male it's your responsibility to keep up what's going on in the world because that's very important but still be on top of your game when it comes down to take care of your family listen when I say keep up with what's going on in current events you want to know educate yourself what's going on in the world but don't let that get in the way of your success. And listen, a lot of people base success off of money. People say, in order for you to be successful, you have to be ultra rich. And I don't believe that. It's a fundamental difference between being rich and being wealthy. It's, it's two different things. Think about it. You got rich people depressed. You have rich people killing themselves. They all the money in the world. They're not happy. So being rich don't bring you happiness. Being rich don't bring you sunshine and roses. Think about that, right? Think about this. You, you see it all the time. Multi-millionaires hang themselves and commit suicide and depress multiple divorces and everything else that you would think to yourself, this person have millions of dollars. How could one that have so much money not be happy? It's because being rich doesn't bring you happiness. Wealth bring you happiness. Tell you what wealth does. Wealth is not about money. Wealth is not about success. You know what wealth is? Wealth is you taking care of your family in a way that they don't have to worry about too much. And you feel good that you may not have extra money after you pay your bills, but you're able to pay your bills and you feel good about it. Right. Wealth is making sure that all your affairs is in order. Wealth is not being the richest person. Listen, happiness is in the heart, in the soul, right? Wealth is when you have all your ducks in a row, when you organize, when you happy, when you when your family is happy, when you have the, the means to do what you have to do to take care of your family. That's wealth, in my opinion. A lot of people say, well, no, wealth is rich. No, rich is money. Wealth is his soul, baby. You think about this. You're wealthy people, right? Probably not the richest people. You're wealthy people is the happiest people because they're able to pay their bills, may have a little profit at the end of the day, but they have a secure family, a savings, a, a peace of mind. Let me tell you something for a man. And, and I know I can relate to a lot of men. You know, when you work on a nine to five job or whatever job you're working on and you just get, you know, just beat up by your boss all day. He's upset. He's he's causing confusion in the workplace and you it, everything that you're doing at work just not right. Your your boss is on your back about everything, every little thing that you do. It's not good enough for them. And us men go through it. Listen, when I worked the nine to five, 
man, you know, you're just upset all the time because your boss just made a hellified environment for you. Right. Your boss is on your butt about everything. You just can't do nothing right. And you dealt with that for eight to 10 hours during the course of the day. And listen, I used to do this. I got off of work, man. My brain was so fried. I'm so upset. But the number one thing that I didn't want to do is bring that negativity and that, that meanness to my home. That's what I didn't want to do. It's because it's not my wife's fault that I had a bad day at work. It's not my daughter's fault that I had a bad day at work. Right? So I shouldn't bring that negativity, negative energy to my house. It's a rule of thumb. Right? It's a rule of thumb that when you outside of your home, you can have all kinds of things happen, happen to you. Negativity. Lose your job. This, that, and other. Had a bad day at work. When you walk in your home, when you walk across the threshold of the door at your home, that's your salvation. That's your wealth. That is your peace and happiness. If you don't have that in your home, then you need to make a change today. Your home's supposed to be the most positive environment, period. Your home's supposed to be a place where you can come home and feel good about something. Listen, when you walk in your home and you look up at your ceiling, you're looking, you're looking around your home, what do you see when you walk in your home? You got four walls. That means that's your protection. When you look around in your home, you got the lights on. That means that bill is paid. When you go to the sink and you turn on the water, the water comes out. That means that bill is paid. You have a lovely spouse, right? That greets you or maybe say hello to you. That's supposed to be sunshine and roses. You have kids. I have a daughter. They will come to me and say, hey, daddy. That's the joy. When you hear that, hey, daddy. When your spouse say, hey, honey. When you turn on the lights, the lights come on. When you turn on the water, the water come on. You don't have no eviction notice sitting on your door. You got furniture in your home. When you go up to the refrigerator, you open the door and you got food in there. That means that you've done your job. That means that that's the most. When you walk in your home, your home's supposed to be the most peaceful place on the planet. Your home is your salvation. Your home is your heaven. If your home is not your heaven, then you need to make a change. And 99% of everything that happens in the home is done by the individual, the adults, right? Whether or not it's going to be the, the, the male or the female. I'm, listen, I'm talking from about a male point of view, right? I'm, I'm telling you all this from a male point of view. We know that females, they do have females that's head of household. So I, I just want to say I'm, I'm talking about this in a, in a man's point of view. As a man, it's my responsibility to make sure that my home is the most peaceful place, the most positive place, period. If it's not, then I need to hold myself accountable because I did not create that environment. I need y'all guys to listen to this. It's because, listen, it's no way, no one in the world can create a peaceful environment but you. That's it. If your spouse is in a bad mood, then me as a man, I have to think about what, what could I do to take that negative energy out of my spouse. I call my wife the Oracle. It's my job to make sure that my Oracle is happy. How do I do that? If she is in a bad mood, that means me as a man, I have to step up and man up and see what's wrong with my wife. If she had a bad day at work, 
Guess what my job is? To give her peace and comfort to let her know that it's okay. You home now. We You deal with that battle tomorrow. But when you home, it's peace and happiness. See how, how easy that is? It sounds easy. A lot of people say, well, easy. You, you, you talk about this like it's like that in your home. Listen, I had to create that. It takes a, lo- a long time to create uh, peace and happiness in your home. It just doesn't happen overnight, people. So the four pillars, right? And listen, I know you can apply these four pillars of five pillars in tech, right? In life. And so keeping it real is something that you have to. It's, a, it's Listen, man. If you fake. Then that's your fault. If you fake but tell people you real, that's your fault. Everything comes down to the individual. Facts, right? Facts, my name. That listen, that's a fact. My name is a fact. Listen, you 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 cannot dispute facts when you have documentation. Right? Opinion. We all have opinions. If you go online, you go on Twitter, you go on threads, you go on Instagram, you go on Facebook. You see a lot of people voice their opinions about products and services, right? And listen, you could debate it all day long. You could debate it. You can have a healthy debate about it. And that's okay. Positive debates is okay. You know, in my comment section, I, I, I get this all the time. People have you know opinions about different things and people voice their opinion. And it's okay to voice your opinion. Here's where the problem coming at when you voice your opinion. When you believe that your opinion outrules everybody else's opinion, that's where the problem comes in at. The problem comes in at when you believe that your opinion is better than everybody else. And that's where the problem coming at. People can say, in my opinion, I like X, Y, and Z. And I can say this, in my opinion, I like my LG phones. And that's my opinion. People could debate with me all day long. People could throw, well, it, all kinds of other devices in my face. They could do everything in the world. They can tell me everything. But in my opinion and in my experience, I like LG phones. That's it. I mean, it, listen, it's up to me to change that opinion. It's up to me to make that change. It's not up to nobody to influence me to make that change. So when we talk about opinion, that's your opinion, baby. But when we talk about experience, listen, man, experience is something that you experience. And here's the thing about experience. And this is what people try to get you that gotcha moment. Oh, I got you. Sometimes your experience change. Think about this. I can have a device brand new and I can say in my experience, the better life is the best I ever had. And three months later, I can say, you know what? My experience have changed. The better life is not that great that I thought it was back then. See how they go. But you have some people that follow you and say, ha ha, I got you. You lying now. See, you fake and phony because you said it was the best battery. And then three months later, now you saying it's not the best battery. Ha ha, I caught you. Listen, people experience change. People's opinion can change. See what we see. What, see think about this. What happened back in 2020 or what happened in 2019 or what happened in 1980 can be different in 2024. The same thing that I did, the same vehicles or whatever I've had five years or 10 years or whatever, I might have had a good experience when I first had it. But over the years, my experience have changed. My opinion have changed. I believe that individuals have every right to change their minds on products and services. And I don't I believe that it's OK if you had a change of heart about your experience that you was that you had the certain products and services. And all of a sudden you change your mind. And your experience have changed over time. It happens. But you can't come back and hit a person. In the car. Oh, my God. Gotcha. See, a year ago, you said X, Y, and Z was the best. Now you're saying this is the best. Well, my experience have changed over time. Experience 
It's an individual experience. It's something that, I mean, it happens. And let's talk about accountability. Listen, you have to hold yourself accountable. You have to hold yourself accountable. Listen, man, a lot of people don't want to hold themselves accountable. A lot of people say, ah, I'm going to just let it ride. I'm going to just let it pass. No, it's your responsibility to hold yourself accountable. A lot of people don't want to hold themselves accountable. I hold myself accountable all the time, baby. When I make a mistake, listen, my oracle always point out the mistakes that I made. People, people in the comments will, that I make YouTube videos and point out mistakes that I made. People on the internet will hit me in the DM to email me and tell me the mistakes that I made. And you know what? It's okay to say I apologize. I made a mistake. See that? As a man or as an adult, it's okay to be wrong. But when you hold yourself accountable and you fix your wrongs, that's the key to success. Listen, man. Being successful is never ends. See, a lot of people say, oh, my God, X, Y, and Z is successful. I don't look at it like that. I look at success as a never-ending situation. Listen, there's no top. There's A lot of people say, you're at the top. I don't look at it like that. I look at, I there's no cap. There's no top. You're always striving for a goal. You're always striving for something new. And that's the motivation that you need as an individual to strive to be better, strive to do better. I would tell I say this to all, a lot of people that are always confused and, and, and you know, they look at their, their YouTube numbers and it's not as great uh, that some fellow content creators are, you know, they believe that they making outstanding videos uh but they they doesn't those videos don't move the needle uh and uh, you know a lot of people get upset because they believe that it's something against them the the YouTube is blocking them and and they, they got things that happens behind the scenes that prevent you from going to the next level let me tell you something, man. Everything surrounds the individual. Success is based off of what you want it to be. Stop looking at other people and look at yourself. Don't compare you yourself to other people. Always be your own person. Hold yourself accountable for your deeds. I see YouTube content creators that uh, say stuff like, oh, easy, you, you work too much. I would never do that. You know, I, you know, I can be up all night making content and, and not missing sleep and, and, and all that stuff like that. Hey, listen, to each his own. I say this, that you can't complain about anything unless you put the work in. Think about it. I can't. How could I complain about something when I'm not putting the work in? A lot of people say, well, I am putting the work in. I'm doing this. Listen, man, it's 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 the diff it's a fundamental difference between working hard and working smart. It's a fundamental difference in uh trying to achieve goals. It's a fundamental difference in a lot of things in life. It's a fundamental difference. You have to look yourself in the mirror and say, okay. How could I bring my YouTube channel to the next level? How could I do things better? How could I be proficient in this? How could I rise to the top on certain areas? And listen, I'm going to tell you, you know, my motivation. I get my motivation from looking at other content creators that flourishing. Right. And I think about how could I be better? How could I make my content better? How could I be better? 
And listen, a lot of people criticize me. Say, easy, you put too much work in one video. I would never do that. I did this. This is a hobby for me. And you know what? That's fine. If it's a hobby for you, never complain. I tell people this all the time. Never complain about your numbers being down if you're not going to put the work in. Don't complain about anything if you're not willing to be the, the last person to go to bed at night and the first person to be up in the morning. If you if you go complain, if you go complain, right? Don't complain. If, if, if this is this, 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 if, if, if your YouTube channel, or your TikTok or your Instagram is something that this is a hobby, you ain't worried about it, you ain't worried about making no money, you ain't worried about this, you ain't worried about that, you ain't worried about views, you ain't worried about no subscribers, you ain't worried about followers, you ain't worried about that because it's just a hobby. Don't complain on social media when you don't get the numbers. Don't complain. And that's the thing. A lot of people complain. When stuff don't go their way, complain and faulting everybody else, fault YouTube, fault Instagram, suppressing you and all this stuff like that when you got to look yourself in the mirror. All right, I got to go because I'm talking. I'll be talking all day. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Woo. Let, oh, hold on a second. I got, I got, there we go. Let's do this. Look, here we go. All right. Oh, man. Another episode of Uncut, baby. Listen, man, I, I really appreciate it. I had to I had to talk about this again this week, right? Because I, a lot of you guys just hit me in the comments, man. Like, easy. Wow, that was a powerful podcast, man. And I just want to go deep with you this week, man. Listen, I talk about tech all the time. If you follow my YouTube channel, man, you know guys are doing green screen videos and all kinds of stuff, right? But these Uncut... It's something that I is personal to me. It's personal to me. I want y'all guys to know me outside of the shell, outside of talking about tech. And listen, I understand a lot of tech people won't watch these podcasts. They don't listen to this crap, man. They won't hear tech. They won't hear me talk about smartphones and tablets and computers. They don't care about all this lifestyle stuff, right? Think about this. These products and services cost thousands of dollars right but before you shell out your money you got to know baby is your house taken care of listen take care of your house before you go out and buy this product i always talk about this whole devices till the wheels fall off you know why because it ain't that listen all this new stuff ain't that great it ain't as it ain't as good listen a lot of people oh my god the new phones is out oh my god listen man the old phone is just as good as the new phone people always talk that crap you don't know what you're talking about i want a flat display man listen man they they've been having flat displays out forever man come on you can go back go three years and go buy your phone with flat display does it make phone calls can you take photos is it fast enough for you does it have enough storage on there Listen, man, sometimes the latest and greatest is not that great. Listen, let me tell you something, man. I'm going to get out of here. Let me tell you something. A lot of people, I want y'all to know something, right? A lot of people don't understand. Just because it's new don't mean it's better. Man, I'm going to tell you, if you, a lot of people might disagree with me, man. I don't care, man. I'm going to tell you, just because it got the latest specs on it don't mean it's good, baby. I'm telling you, a lot of people get to fall. They fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Listen, you fall for the banana in the tailpipe, you'll be broke. Because if you believe that these companies care about you, man, you believe that they 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 putting all these specs in here just so you can go out here and tell everybody, I got this, I got that. Let me tell you something though. It just because it's new don't make it better, baby. And I'm gonna tell you, woo! All right, we out here. We're gonna see y'all next week, same back place, same back time, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, crank that up, baby. Let's go. Yes. All right. The Tech Preacher Podcast, baby. I'm out of here. I'm going to see y'all next week.